It is Friday, December 27th at 6.38 in the morning. I am at my vending location. Uh, didn't do as well as I thought it was going to, but uh, I'm going to restock a lot of stuff and change out a few things. I'm going to put in uh, cinnamon rolls and cheese danishes. I'm going to put in some popcorn and ramen noodles. Hopefully that does a little bit better. Um, so yeah, here we go. This location is actually at my work, so it is a trip. We are going to open it up and see. All right, I didn't want to be recording while there was a bunch of people in here. They were coming in right before they had to start work. But while I was waiting, I stocked the cinnamon rolls, the big Texas cinnamon rolls, and I changed out the non-frosted honey buns to back here, and I put in the cheese danishes. So I did that. And then there's Cheetos here, and I put the ramen noodles in this slot. That's all I've done so far. I waited. I am going to put popcorn in this aisle, or this row. We will see how that does. I have put in the Big Texas cinnamon rolls, the cheese danishes, the ramen noodles, and the popcorn. I had to take a little break because everybody was coming in here for break right before they started and the people that were here two hours before everybody else, uh, like the painters, they were taking a break. So. I had to stop and I don't know what my GoPro just did. Yikes. I have stocked the ramen noodles, the popcorn, the cheese danishes, and the cinnamon rolls. I have a few more things I am going to switch around and get. So far I have stocked the cheese danishes, the cinnamon rolls, the ramen noodle, and the popcorn. I'm going to change around a few things. Uh, there's a few things that I want to take out and I'm going to put back in. I'm going to stock the Skittles. The purple ones did best so far.
Um, the, the purple ones have done best so far, so we will see how that goes. Stocking them all the way full, almost. Uh, it doesn't really look like much of the red ones have sold. Maybe a couple, but not very many. Which is kind of disappointing because they fired the guy that I knew that liked this, the green ones. So, that's why only like two of the green ones have sold. Hopefully, those sell. I am low on Milky Ways and Three Musketeers. I didn't bring any, which that sucks. I didn't think those would sell. So, now I am going to get I'm going to get some Reese's and I'm going to stock it the Reese's in this in this spot right here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes summertime when it's extremely hot. Right now it is December 25th of 2019 in Indiana and it was 60 some degrees yesterday, which is extremely odd for this time of year. In Indiana. So, I'll have to figure that out. Probably have to use a cooler. Uh, I'm not sure what other people do in other states. Uh, why don't you comment down below and let me know what what you guys do if you have any machines for your chocolate in the summertime when it's hot. Originally when I stocked this machine, I had Snickers almond in this and they did not like that very well at all. So I took it out and I put Snickers in this spot just to fill it until the next time I came out here. So, my biggest problem in these videos is talking loud enough so people can hear me. Because I'm trying to record off my phone and my GoPro. We will see. We got that all. What I am going to do is just go ahead and put Reese's in this slot. Just so I have just for the aesthetics of having it having it filled that way it looks nice what I'm going to do I took out the hot Doritos and I am going to put in these and the honey barbecues and the cheddar sour cream um, the flaming Hot Doritos didn't really do so well here, so I think maybe one bag sold in a month. Hey, trial and error. Trial and error. I didn't know what the people would like here. It's kind of a weird location that's in a town that... I don't know too many people from. If you watch any of my previous videos, you'll know that this is my works. Second location that they opened up this year. And the opportunity arose for me to have a vending machine here, so I took it. And I'm learning on the go.
is a learn on the fly. Wow. Worked out perfect. Put it there. So there we go. There is that one. And then, what else did I want to do? Oh yeah. I'm gonna take these out. I am going to put the cool ranches. I'm going to put the cool ranches in here. That's what they say. Not a single one of these is sold. Not one. So I'm going to take these out. I am going to replace them with Funyuns. Well, I'm going to move the salad cream up front and then I'm going to replace them. I'm going to replace, put the Funyuns behind these. I've asked the guys what they like here, so that's why I'm changing stuff around. When I first started, they gave me big answers, all oh, hot chips, just regular, just your normal stuff you put in vending machines, and I put that normal stuff and a lot of it didn't sell like at my works other location I don't have that location it's a big vendor a big supplier the Lay's classics sell like crazy the Lay's classics sell like crazy but hey so I just took all these Cheez-Its out they were in this row right here I put this back in because I had initially taken it out Putting this back in, and I'm going to add another row. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to add another row, and I'm going to put the divider right here and add something else. I finally got this to stick in there. If you notice right here, there is a tab. See this tab? You can flip this up, this tab, and then that'll come up. Push that back down. Make sure it goes back over. And then you will be able to push it down. Not sure if you can see it right there. Yep. That tab. You press it. 
over that way and it'll pop up. So I have a divider here. I'm going to put the divider in and we will see how it goes. I'm gonna have to push that, pop that back up, slide this back down, and then load everything up. So we will see you here in a second. All right, we are going to fill this one up with these trail mixes. And we will see how it goes. Guys have been asking for um, the individually wrapped beef jerky. I can't find it. Sam's Club doesn't have it. Maybe I should go to Costco and look. So we will see. So that's done. I need to change the price on these. And then I'm going to see if these donuts, powder donuts, will fit in there. Hopefully. See, it's going to be too big. See, I'd have to physically smash the donuts. The, just the, the aesthetics of it. Yes, I did just try to do that. <laughs> yeah, see, I'd have to smash them. I think I'm gonna take these out. These don't really sell. So I'm gonna have a slot like that. Then I am going to. I want. I want the product to sell. If there's gonna be a slot this big, and those don't sell. So. And these just don't fit in there at all. Even with a big space like that. Holy shit. I'm gonna just have to eat this on myself. But look, you have to... have to like crunch it. I am running short on time, so I need to speed up and start just filling this machine. That way I can get out of here. It's taking way too long to, uh, to do this. So I am going to try to speed up. I needed something skinny, maybe. You know what? I am going to see if these coffee cakes will fit here. And yes, they will. So the coffee cakes just got moved down one row. These weren't really selling, so I replaced them with uh, powder donuts. I took the powder donuts and I put them in there and I'm going to take the coffee cakes and put them down here. Um, I know I'm still very new and very green at this. Hey, I'm trying, I'm learning.
about growth and learning, my friends. And what I like to do when I put in uh, something in a new spot, I like to put I like to put in money and make sure it works. So that would be E7. That would be E8. every I almost have every slot filled except for the top one the top one when the machine was delivered the two slides this way were the the part that spins it it was up and I can't get that to slide back down like uh, there's something blocking it I will try to show you guys so you know what's crazy is the fact that I have a Note 9 and when I am in this mode, I can't flip the camera around. I can't get this to sit down properly. I'm not sure why. What it's hitting. to be, you know what I'm saying, that board, that's me, this board right here, maybe, I'm not sure, so no matter how I do it, To just keep going empty. If you're wondering how to change the price on this, I'm going to have to change some prices around. This is a USI 3129. To change the prices, you just press this little red button right here, service mode. Boop, press it. Go over here. And press four, four. And then you press, well, I'm gonna change F3, F3, it's at 75 cents. I am going to decrease it. You press this to increase, that to decrease. Boom, boom. I'm gonna make it 50 cents. Okay, I'm gonna make it 55 cents, okay? Then the next one you all wanna press, F5, F5. Make it. Decrease it, I'm gonna make it 60 cents. I'm gonna make it 55 cents. I'm gonna make it 60, 60 cents. Let's see how 60 cents does for the ramen noodles and 55 for that, okay? And then you just press the service button again. 
to uh, make sure it saves. So let's press F3 to figure it out. If it worked, F3, 55 cents. Then let's press F5, 60 cents. It saved. Now I want to change the price for E7. E7, we're gonna change those to a dollar. So I'm gonna have to press the service button mode again. Press four. And then press E7. It set at 65. We're gonna set that at a dollar. And then we press the service button mode again. Boom, and it, it should be good to go. Let's see it. E7, a dollar. E8, E8 is a dollar. Okay. So, we have the prices set. Everything should be, everything's looking like it's good to go. I have these set at 75 cents. 75 cents. Um, these are all a dollar. Everything here is a dollar. A dollar. This is set at 65, a dollar and a dollar. Obviously, I need to change the prices of those. So, out of the two machines, there was $64 and $69. And $44 and quarters.